let me quickly uh, just wrap up of what we spoke about last week so that we can be able to move on to quickly uh, i promise you i'll be a good pastor t- today um we in in isaiah 43 verses 1 let me read it again um uh, which speaks about um god um uh, bragging himself about us descendants of jacob i the lord created you when somebody says that it is a bragging statement this is my formation this is this is my invention this is my design this is my painting you, you know i form your nation i formed your nation israel do not be afraid i have rescued you i have called you by name you belong to me we all belong to god part of god still when we spoke about last week is that si belong agunkulunkulu we are part of god's creation um we are we are not supposed to be walking in fear because fear comes from the enemy um, and also we need to be the people of hebrews 13 6 people who are fearlessly that we we do not know any any element about fear you know but two scriptures then um which i'm i'm gonna kick up kick from there is that in everything that uh, we um, that the lord is doing unto us when this when when we speak about this message that the deal of god into our life is on it also means that we need to appreciate that unkulunkulu magasibusisa which we spoke about about it you, you know that god blesses you in the midst or in the presence of of your enemies we also have to know that uh, according to Isaiah 54 verses 14 that there are weapons which are formed against you there are weapons which are placed against you there are people who do not like you there are people who do not appreciate your progress there are people who are who are not going to succeed who, who, who are not going to appreciate the success that you are bringing you know those are the weapons that they formed against you but those weapons must not manifest themselves against you by allowing those things to speak to you a lot you know we spoke we we spoke a lot about offense last week but the weapons as they are formed they should not impact you because those weapons some are just directed at you maybe they are not even loaded i saw a story um even on the social media that there is this boy who was arrested uh, Kyle Leach, who has been hijacking cars with a toy gun toy gun and he has been terrorizing the the community until one old lady uh, okay if if it's offensive until mamom dala yes an old lady mamom dala at mfanam is like better hijacking or then grab this thing and it was a toy then he ran away It took in a woman. Shilu Mamudi Aketsen Hore, Redetsuara Tepa, Kakabuha. Yeah, you know, it took a woman to, to apprehend what has been terrorizing a community in Nabobaba. But above all, what we ought to work on is that, who, Lord, when, when God blesses you also, or when the deal is on unkulunkulu does not make or manifest it the deal of god gets to be manifested gets to be seen in the presence of who bazalwane in the presence of those who are forming the weapons against you in the presence of those who do not like you in the presence of those who are plotting for you to fail in the presence of those who do not like you that's the god that you are serving because of a show off to say i need the people to see that um, they have been ridiculed you my daughter my child my son they've been saying you are not going to amount to anything in your life now is your time now is your moment that i'm going to elevate you now is the moment that i'm going to bless you what does the word says it says the lord um, brings me as a guest of honor and he lays what a table in front of who of my adversary in front of those who are doing what in front of those who are opposing you therefore this is what i need us to 
to comprehend. We can do everything but find strength in opposition. Find courage in being overlooked. Find purpose when your work that you are doing is being undermined. Because when God comes in at a time to, to show off, when God comes in at a time that he's going to bless you, he is going to bless you in front of them as he did with David in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 13. God lines, God lines them up in the manner that uh, um, Jesse was thinking that none none of the sons that um oh, maybe the Bible said Jesse lines them up in a manner that he was thinking that either of them will be the king either of them will be will be receiving the anointing but forgetting and disregarding note what Jesse says if Samuel if Samuel did not say, is there any other one? Meaning, David was already being disregarded. David was already being counted off. Go, David was already being written off. Let them write you off. Let them write you off. Let them say you are not going to amount to anything. Let them put you at the back. Bangag nag. But unkulunkulu esim konzayo. Bamile bonke abafana baga chese. As Jesse was lining them up. Until Samuel says, I see all of them. But is there none of them? And when Jesse says, yeah, there is that other one. There is that other one, that other one, oh, Melusi. When that Melusi one comes, is the one who receives the anointing. What does the word say? The word says, David was anointed in, the front, in front of his brothers who were watching him, in front of his brothers who were observing him and saying, Instead of me, Sometimes we we allow ourselves in situations which abundant they can be able to take advantage of us because we are getting into a position where we accept being ridiculed, we accept being undermined, and we take that as a posture of where God is taking us. Let me say the best things. You need to believe that. When God says the deal is on, it means God is going to lift your talent up. It means God is going to, God is going to energize your talent up. It means God is going to ensure that he activates every dead element of your creativity and talent and purpose. It means that God is going to position you in the area where you are belonging. Who David, according to his brothers, according to Jesse, was not belonging in the lineup, was just belonging there in the field. God is refining you. May you find strength with what you are doing. May you find purpose and enjoyment with what you are doing. When I answer what God has assigned you to do, answer what God has directed you to do. Forget about any other element, Stay where you are according to them. You are being disregarded. According to them, you are being moved from the spotlight. What the brothers thought to say, even Jesse, so that he must not be in the spotlight. How do you? How do you? Whilst the big brothers, they are doing nothing. But Unkulukulu had known in terms of the purpose to say, I am raising a king. I am raising somebody who's going to be a leader. When God positions you, you must always walk with grace and trust in God. I shall be able, O oh Lord, to work where you suppose me. 
where I'm supposed to be. What you need to do, you need to focus on what God is putting into your spirit. And also, you need to practice the things that you desire, the things that you want, the things that God places in you. I like this one. You need to persevere. Okay. Let's go back to where it was part of our scripture reading so, so that we can flow. It's cut. I know, I see you, but those who have a deal with God, who, oh Lord, they have certain traits, and those traits, I will speak to them. Uh, in John 1, I will take the last part of verses 50 because of time. I will no longer, uh, I will just skip, but, oh, because the deal of God, you are able to know that he is the Lord who verses, verses 29 tells us um, that he's the, he's the Lord, that um, there is this re revelation that they speak and say, the Lamb of God who takes away what? Um, our sins. Then when, when you go to verses 31, I like with my version, it says, I did not know him, but that he should be revealed. I will speak about reveal, revelation. I speak. I will speak a lot about um, vision. Uh, I'm just running through. But in verses 50, it says, "Jesus answered and said to him, because I said to you, this is part of our scripture reading. See, Fundile, First uh, John 1 to 50, was I found more when you are home again. Jesus answered and said to him." Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? You will see greater things than this. When, when you see these greater things, which is the vision that God has, has placed into our life, what, what does that mean in Fundis or Gusho Uktin? I'm going to be able to explain in a manner that... Um, we, we find in First King uh, chapter 3, verses 13. First King 3, 13 says, I will give you what you have not asked for. Unkulu, unkulu uti. Part of the deal as my child, as you become the one that I have, I have redeemed, as, as the one that I have placed into the pedestal, knowing that I shall find grace, I shall find joy in seeing you, even in your hidden place, even normal utu has fear, but I shall be able to see you. You shall be revealed to me. You will be able to see greater things. Why what are these greater things? The greater things are all the things that you are visioning. But this verse says, I will also give you, give you what you have not asked for. Who it reminds me of Isaiah 65 verses 24. Yes, I think. It says, as you speak, as you pray, as you open your mouth, Unkunkulu, what will do? He will answer your prayers. He will answer your prayers. May God answer your prayers as you start to believe and trust in Him. May God be able to act You are aligned. You are aligned. You are aligned. Umpagati, unkulunkulu, magagu pendule, ungaga kulumi, unkulunkulu, magagu pendule, ungaga keli. Moba, he is a God of grace, he's a God of mercy, he's a God of multiplication, he's a God who's going to increase you, he's a God who's saying, I find pleasure in seeing my children being increased, I find pleasure in seeing you working in the destiny that Abantu Bibakamuti, Angega Uze Upumi. May you prosper according to where God has placed you. Come on, church. May you increase as in Twenu Kulunkulu Agnigas Hazona when on us born. That is what the word is saying. Whatever God is going to give unto you. Last week I said, Is it Busiso Sikan Kulunkulu? They are not dependent on you. But guess the blessings of God are not dependent on you. Two, the blessings of God are not transferable. He's not a God of tipex. 
Bese afaga afago munyu muntu. God has your blessings. That is why we say the God that you are serving is the God who who does what otomulayo. He's tomulering you. That in the midst of everybody, everybody had a need, but God comes and focuses on you and says, No, but you want to be made well. He speaks into your situation. That is the deal. I will take care of you. Only what you need to do, you need to believe and trust in me. Who oh, believe and trust in me? It goes further and say, I will give you what you have not asked. All your life. Come on, church. What more about Exodus? Is it Exodus 4, verses 12? That God says, I'm going to put words in your mouth that Yonke into Oi Funayo, Oi Kulumayo shall come into the creativeness. Yesterday, the Lord laid into, into me when we're in the mountain that your words shall be able that whatever it is, whatever comes out from your mouth, anything shall, shall conceive. I hope I make sense. Anything shall conceive or shall be formed according to what you are speaking. Shall be formed according to what you are seeking. If you are speaking love, you shall be able to see that love. If you are speaking healing, you shall be able to manifest that healing. When something is conceived, it means um, iakiwa. It is conceived because it was not there. Now your words will speak something and the situation that you, you find yourself in shall conceive what you are speaking. That you say, Lord, if we are not the situation will conceive it. I speak prosperity, meaning prosperity will be conceived because I'm speaking it. I speak healing, meaning healing will be conceived because I'm speaking it. What more, oh Lord, that also niggas on the ending we call that grace, we call that favor, we call that utan, luka unkulunkulu. We call that the everlasting love of God. Engafani na manye, or engafani with any other love. We call that the power of, of God, that he alone is God, is uncomparable to any other person. When there is into, gentando yake, ngezkatsake, not according to the plan of man. May God, and even in this season, give you everything that you are thinking, that you are envisaging, but but you feel it into your heart. The word goes further and say, He will give you everything. He will give you what? He will give you wealth, He will give you honor more than. The kings. Hi, come on, church. It says, I hope I'm reading it well. It says, all your life, meaning, yonke impilo yako. Come on, church. May unkulunkuluti yonke impilo yako. All your life. Agati only in Mother's Day, abandona bakubas will keep her out. Unkulunkuluti, mina every day, will keep her out. Mina, every day I'm going to elevate you. Mina, every day I'm going to protect you. Mina, every day I'm going to expand your money. Mina, every day I'm going to expand your territory. Mina, every day I'm going to expand your flower. Just as you trust me, God says, trust me. Give me that flower and make bread for me. The prophet of God says, make bread for me so that I may eat. The deal of God is that when the flower is pale, but God has sent the prophet, that's first king chapter 18. I think yeah, first king 18 when Elijah is sent by God to um, the Zarephite women, I think. And you you are able to come to a point where God is saying, He will expand me. 
isimo sasemhlabeni sithi sekuphelele but the deal of god says i'm going to send my trusted one ozobamba loku okwakho wena oqamba uthi ukugcina and after after you have fed my servant you shall expand you shall have more who lord mamfekwa hey amazo owakhulumile are so powerful loku esinako uNkulunkulu asinike khona angisakhumbule kahle udu 10 but god does not depend on it God does not depend on our offering and unkulunkulu does not take yeah, I think you said unkulunkulu does not take from us God does not take from us church God does not take from us but God will expand and increase what what you have it says all your life you will have wealth eh? all your life you will have honor all your life you will have more than any other kings i was going to explain that all your life you will have more than any other king i'm going to refer to just two people because of time oh lord maybe one who was the wealthiest man who was this man who was who was wealthy there um there was this guy whom they called him Solomon. Now, when the word of God says you will be wealthier than kings. Now, for now I'm going to maybe use Solomon. None of the king was wealthy than Solomon because when you go to 2nd Chronicles chapter 9 verses 13 and 29, we're not going to read it all, but it tells us it breaks down what Solomon had, what Solomon possessed, you know. Every year, verse 13 says, every year King Solomon received 20 tons of gold. 14, in addition to the taxes paid by the traders and merchandise, the king of Arabia and governors of Israel directed brought him silver and gold. Solomon made 200 large shields each of which was covered um, with 15 pound of beaten gold. Read it when read it when you are home. But what is important for us to note is that Solomon was wealthy. Solomon, the Bible says, or oh, as we read in terms of the scholarly, it says. Uh, in Egypt, Egypt made, um, or in Israel, Egypt made about 25% of, of, of the GDP at a time. King Solomon, it is King Solomon at a time was 40 billion worth in gold. Then it says each year uh, that he received, then the fortune, the total fortune of King Solomon was 2.2 trillion US dollars at a time. None, as they speak, none, even now, the billionaires, the, the millionaires, the, there's none who is a trillionaire according to what Solomon had. Uncle Uncle, or the word of God says, I'm going to bless you more than what? Or more than who? More than the kings. If we can, if if we can associate and comprehend how rich Solomon was, now say, Lord, if you you will bless me more than Solomon, you shall increase my territory, you shall make me grow more, you shall make me be established in everything that you have set me. The only thing, Lord, set me into a vision. Set me into a vision mode. What Miles Monroe defined a vision as a perception of your divine assignment. Vision is a conception. I spoke about conception. It's a conception of your preferred future. Come on, church. What is your preferred future? Your preferred future, it is already in you. God says the deal is yin oikabangayo. God says the deal is, what is that is in your heart? What is that you are imagining? What is that you are, you are env yeah, envisaging, imagining, thinking about, yeah, envisioning? What is that you are inciting? It says, 
your preferred future. May your future that you are preferring be according to what God says unto you. I'm going to give you, I'm going to enlarge you, I'm going to make you richer, greater than any other king. May your future, which starts now as you are sitting here, may your future be the one that elevates you higher into the sky. May your future, may you be unlimited in terms of what you are thinking. May your future, you will be unlimited in terms of what you are envisaging may your vision see greater outside these walls that is why god took abram out and say i'm i am i am blessing you as far as far as where your eyes can see as far as you can imagine as far as your eyes can see may god establish you may god increase you may god place you into an area of no lack that you are saying lord Time has come, Bazalonuti. Tina, why I always ponder that as African as people. I guess Pumeni. See your donator make impact in the world. Sit not naba a Ukraine. Tina, we travel, we see these these um countries, they don't show you those pictures. Kona, they are struggling. Sambe, see your donator in my pumapi SCBC Roddy Port. So your donator, where in the US, where not just in the US, last week in California, somewhere in California, there's a place where Uthala, the, 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 the poorest people, we go where a US, even if it, it rent dollar, say a dollar to rent is, is 19, 19 rent 80. But see, a team, because God has blessed us, God has increased us, see how and make an impact into the world because we have already have spilled off and made an impact in the people that are surrounding us, in the church, in our community. Who? I was with May, I'm, I'm not going to mention this pastor so that uh, this lady is a lawyer um, says we are, we're working on something there's this man uh, they, were, they were working on the books or they were working representing this church because SARS was on him questioning the finances of the church. I'm not going to mention the church. Um, gave the church um, as, as an annual whatever money that he gives. He gave the church 47, 47 million. 47 million. That came from who? From one person. From one person. Okay, Masindu Lapo. You also see in the nature of, of, of how that community in the church, he was saying they have started a kitchen from the church. And that kitchen, who oh Lord, may that grace also fall here. It, that kitchen is going to be in the form of a restaurant. And that restaurant, will people will come and buy food. And, and, and then the profit of it, there will be a side kitchen where they feed the needy in the community. Meaning there's a restaurant, which is, if it's your Pikali or it's your Signal, there's a one where you can eat Oh, I played the eight hundred rand. Besengale and next door, just next door, is God's compassion lunch or kitchen where every member of the community will also dine and eat the same food. That's what he's saying. We're not gonna lower the standard. Napa people will pay. On the other side, we'll be able to give people decent food that if you pay for, is gonna be worth it. Then he said. For us to build that thing, it, it, the whole thing was costing 20 million because they are building a proper structure costing 20 million. Okay. May that vision again, again, the Babantona Basekai. Uncle I infuse the deal is that as we as we have read in John in John 150, you will see greater things than this. Maubone ogukulu than what you are seeing now. Bona greater revelation that God is placing unto you. 
We want to go and study in Harvard. Don't look at your budget and say, may God release you and make all the financial resources available for you. May God be able to empower you in that way. The preferred future, who are still defining, oh Lord. Meleng Bumfundi so right is the Mother's Day today. The conception of your preferred future. What is your preferred future? Gone are the days where Sibe Abazalwane who are fearful, Abazalwane who are troubled. You know, when you are fearful, you are moving away from the position Yakankulunkulu. Because one of the things that God always speaks about is that fear not. Fear not. Unge sabi. Unge sabi. Trouble. Trouble is everything. Is challenges. Is hindrances. Anything that blocks your progress is troubles. I'll give you a scripture to that. A preferred future. With the God, when he says, the capacity to see the invisible. May God give you that capacity for you to can be able to see the invisible. When I felicity, we born in a microscope, a lab. What is that you are seeing in your eyes? You see, as, as you're driving, as you're walking, you see your building. You see everything. As you are sleeping in that car, Tyler, Tyler Perry was not limited by sleeping in the car. The other day, he was driving around. People want to buy that car. They, they are offering him millions. Because he says, in this car, I had dreams. In this car, God showed me things that I've never seen. In this car, I trusted God. In this car, I was fulfilled. In this car, I slept. I had a home. And God gave me, God had a deal with me that what is that you have? And he said, I have a pen and I have, a, I have the mind to think. He started the, to write script and did shows. To the friends, first show there was only few people, but he continued. That's why we said the deal is never give up, persevere. Who is him now? Oh Lord, in 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 Atlanta, and for fortunate Lazanga we were there we were with my kids. He had a studio. He has a studio that he bought. The studio is not a room like this. The studio maybe is equal of half of Rodiport. It's like a community, it's like a society. In that studio, um, there's everything. Gune in Taba, there's a creation of everything. If they want to do a movie in Taba, there's a pattern in Taba. If they want to do a movie in Uluande, there's already a creation of Uluande. If they want to, to do a movie um, that shows a desert in that town, there's already a desert. When Zabini was crowned Miss Universe, he was crowned in the studios, Ziga Tyler Perry. May God not limit you, for he is a God who knows no limitation according um, to the grace that is given unto you. For as long as when you envision, you envision them, as long as when you see them, it goes further to say uh, and believe that it is possible. It is seeing beyond your eyes and living in your imagination. Come on, church. May I, may I see people who say, Mfundisi, I declare that this day I'm going to live in the imagination that is aligned to the things of God. I'm going to live in the imagination of my preferred future. I'm going to live in the, in the imagination of seeing the things that God has already given unto me. Who? Lord, it goes further. Another description, it says, vision is the ability to set goals and objectives, to create a mental picture of what 
it is we want to achieve in future. Ephesians 3 20 says, Now to him who is what? Who is able to do what? To carry out what? His purpose. Unkulunkulu is able to carry his purpose now. And I, I will say it again uh, as I said it last week for God to bless and increase you. If my cosa is correct. God is not dependent on you for him to bless you. But God is dependent on his grace, on his compassion, on his loving kindness upon you to carry out his purpose and super, and super abundantly, more than all that we dare to ask or think. Haibo, is it in the word? It is in the word. But says, more than what we can think or ask, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers hopes or dreams according to his power that is working in us may the power that is may the power of god work in you because it says here we shall be able now it starts the now to him who is able to carry out his purpose for greater things lastly the the, the last part says according to his power that is working within us. May the power of God, may it work because you say part of the deal, O oh Lord, is that you shall be able to increase me. Ooh, I have one minute. Yeah, okay. May the power of God be able to work in you. May that power, may that power, may that power, come on church, may that power what is that power? The power of not being, being the one who is, who is timid. The power of being the one who's not afraid to take chances. The power of the one who's not, being, who's not, who's not afraid. When you are looked down, you emerge up. The power of the one when you are being insulted, um, you are able to move to turn around and go back, you go back, but you still work hard so that you may be able to be elevated. Abanya abantu, but occupy ama position A to just like who's is put. By the time she was leaving US, the person who had to turn around and go away was the female vice president of that company. By the time she was leaving that company, they had offered her that position of a vice president of that company. I don't know what happened to that woman because she, I, I, I don't know. May those who are occupying position, may the God, may God's love, his, his God to saying, I knew you, I have created you. May Unkulunkulu, Atage, Itafula, Bagbon Uriza, Uze Uba Zule, Baze Baripoteguwe, whilst you were reporting to them. That's the power of the grace of God that is living unto us. Who, lastly, Psalms 34, 19, then we will, we will end up here. Part of the deal, Mang Vale e Bible, Bonagaluti Siaval. Part of the deal that of God's many promises, who not? Uti, Psalms. 34 and 19, the righteous person faces many, many troubles, but the Lord comes to rescue. What is to rescue? To rescue is to save. To rescue is to keep safe. To rescue is to protect. Will rescue, will save each time. Oh Lord, Ngaso Sonke is cut, not one time. The GNT version says, God's people suffer many troubles, but the Lord saves them all the time. Whilst the NET version says, the godly face dangers, but the Lord saves them, each one of them, when you are experiencing those things. Whilst we understand what, what we find in Jeremiah 29, verses 13, it says, you will seek me and will find me because you seek me with your heart. 
May we seek God with our heart so that when Unkulunkul Ati, I'm going to answer you, I'm going to give you is in the Ongaskel, Unkulunkul Segei Bonil in Kizuayakuti. This is a heart of, of my child who is good. Then we close here. Who? Jeremiah 32 41. I love this verse as we stand, Bazalwan. Bonagalutia Hamba Maj. Who? I was supposed to teach this, but I don't know. I was supposed to teach this, take my time, but we ought to teach and preach it. Uchi Uchi Remea, 32, verses 41. Zita Telem, Dana Sekaya. It I, God, will enjoy blessing them. With all my heart and soul, I will faithfully plant them in this land. I, God, I, God, I, God, will, will enjoy, I, I enjoy blessing them. I enjoy, you know, when you see these videos on social media, and when you see these videos, a guy who buys an avocado in 2000, as I tell you, avocado, we are mama, to mama, and I'm going to Can we share? Lo mama, um, niggers are avocado, no, lo mama, tengis are ama avocado. We am niggers, lo mama, to tatam, tanami, eat. Bessie, at no, mama, benging a lambang, a ben funu bon, which was on your pana. A tat e one thousand, am nig, a carly, lo mama, at we, umzul, at our wing, how we ganiam? Magasa pege kuti how we ganiam? I keep any a thousand. I'm nigga. At how Jehovah ganzeni na? May the spusi so so kuti Jehovah ganzeni na? Sete sipile impulenzetu. Uti usa usa pege lugo kala unkulunkulu atel on top of that. I keep a five hundred trend lom fanati le ntenga i overcardo. How much is one avocado? Oh, Kunkula Sim Konsayo. Itiliake, we are increasing. Itiliake, Usbega Pezul. Itiliake, I send the fail. Itiliake, Usbega, and twenty as the Sugi Luzo Zonkizinto. Itiliake, it I shall I shall change the situation. Laba Abatanga, Gue, the five pop. Meaning that I change, your avocado will be worth 2.5. 2.5. Your avocado will be worth 10,000. You are able to feed your family. That's the God that you are serving. Uzo gbusisa, agbusise, agbusise. Even is it azako, zilibile zimile. God says, I'm, I am ordaining David where in front, I like the Bible that Abba Fawabu, whilst his brothers were doing what were watching, they were watching him whilst he is being blessed. I release you today as you go. May you go with the blessing of knowing Utunkulunkulu has blessed you. I release you with the grace of multiplication. What you think is of no value in your life. Abantu baso itenga. But in time I let you get to itenga. Utayenga ipiwa ukoko wamati. Please can you give it for me. It's an antique I was looking for. I have 10,000 rand for you. We keep your omni with all lot. Bengtinga is school fees. Seven to one, being shot at ten thousand. When I want to punch it, ten thousand is matter. May the grace of the deal, unkulunkulu, meet you halfway. Akshanga bears, agwenze gase, akpaka mese, ngasusonkis cut. Who?